Hi everyone, this is Gerald from Gallery. During Christmas 2023, we unveiled our new airbrush, the premium series Mobius. In this video, we will show you how to take it apart and put it back together so you can easily clean and do some basic maintenance. As the disassembly and assembly steps for the Mobius 0.3mm and 0.2mm version are nearly identical, I will use the Mobius 0.2mm for demonstration. Let's begin by disassembling it. The disassembly is quite simple, and I will go through it quickly. First, remove the handle and fluid adjustment knob. Loosen the needle chucking nut, but there's no need to remove it. Take out the needle. Please be cautious not to touch the needle tip to prevent damage or injury. Remove the air cap. Remove the nozzle cap. Extract the nozzle. Please note that there is a white Teflon O-ring at the back of the nozzle. Handle it carefully to avoid misplacing it. In the packaging, you will find a sealed bag containing spare O-rings and black nozzle cap O-rings for your convenience. For most usage scenarios, including deep cleaning, disassembling to this extent is sufficient. The subsequent disassembly steps are not necessary unless you want to gain a deeper understanding of the airbrush's construction or possess sufficient experience to repair or maintain the airbrush independently. Take out the main lever. Remove the needle chucking nut. Loosen the main lever adjustment knob. This knob is designed with extra length for the stability of the main lever, so you'll need to patiently turn it for a while. Remove the spring. To detach the golden part, you will need a wrench or can use small pliers to grip the hexagonal nut at the rear, making it easy to remove. Take out the needle chucking guide. If necessary, the valve can also be removed. You can use tools for this, as it may require some effort. Be cautious not to misplace the red O-ring. You should use tweezers or specialized tools to gently loosen the valve screw at the bottom and remove the valve spring and valve road. It's important to note that disassembling this component is not recommended unless your airbrush has experience issues related to air leakage, such as air escaping, when the hose is connected, or the main lever not being able to press down or not spricking back up. In most cases, these problems are associated with this part. You can try reassembling it or apply a small amount of lubricant to the valve road to improve these issues. To summarize, disassembling the air valve is not recommended, and we won't demonstrate it. Inside the visible window, you can see the needle guide. Disassembling this part is strongly discouraged. The airbrush undergoes precise calibration during manufacturing to ensure that the needle guide is tightened to the appropriate level, preventing paint leakage while allowing smooth needle movement. If after extended use, you encounter issues like paint leakage due to the friction of the needle, you can tighten it slightly from the rear of the airbrush using a flathead screwdriver. That wraps up the entire breakdown and simple maintenance guide for the Mobius airbrush. Now let's move on to putting it back together. First, assemble the valve in order. And I'd like to remind you again not to lose the O-ring. Reassemble the valve and tighten it. Place the nozzle into the nozzle cap, ensuring the white seal ring is in place and there is no dust or paint residue on top. Reassemble them together and make sure they are properly tightened. Failure to tighten this part can result in paint backflow or intermittent spraying during use. Reattach the air cap. Insert the main lever in the correct orientation. We have upgraded the main lever of the Mobius, 
so now you can quickly reattach it without the need for precise alignment with the internal holes of the airbrush, which is very convenient. Reinstall the needle chucking guide. Reinstall the golden spring case and I suggest using a tool to tighten it again, as this is also our factory standard. Otherwise, you might accidentally loosen it when removing the handle. Put back the spring. Reinstall the main lever adjustment knob. You must continue turning it until there are no visible threads. This is the recommended safe position where the main lever's force is lightest. Turning it too loose may prevent the main lever from rebounding after reattaching the needle chucking nut. If you turn the knob all the way, it maximizes the rearward force when pulling the main lever, allowing you to adjust it to your preference. Reinstall the needle chucking nut, but do not tighten it. Double check that the main lever adjustment knob is correctly positioned and the nozzle cap is properly tightened. Carefully reinsert the needle, push it forward gently until it reaches the bottom and then tighten the nut. Reinstall the handle, choosing your preferred angle. One important note, if you find that the main lever doesn't rebound, first check if these two knobs are tightly aligned. If they are, loosen the needle chucking nut first, then continue to tighten the main lever adjustment knob to the safe value. After that, tighten the needle chucking nut. If you have followed the above installation steps and are still experiencing issues, you can loosen the needle chucking nut and quickly move the needle a few times to ensure that the main lever operates smoothly. Then, gently press the needle into place and tighten the nut. Well, that concludes the complete assembly process for the Mobius. If your airbrush malfunctions after disassembly and cleaning, please carefully follow the above steps to reassemble it. I believe this will be quite helpful for you. Thank you for watching it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment and we will respond to you as soon as possible. Carpe diem.